Yet as a teacher, I recognized that it was excessive fear and self-doubt that were the greatest detractors of personal genius. It broke my heart to see students know the answers, yet lack the courage to act on the answer. Often in the real world, it's not the smart who get ahead, but the bold. Yes, said Rich Dad. Some people say I exploit people because I don't pay as much as the sugar plantation or the government. I say the people exploit themselves. It's their fear, not mine. It's like planting a tree. You water it for years, and then one day it doesn't need you anymore. Its roots are implanted deep enough. Then the tree provides shade for your enjoyment. Mike. You work for the bank. After taxes, your next largest expense is usually your mortgage and credit card debt. In an educated society with a well-run government, prices should actually come down. Of course, that is often only true in theory. Prices go up because of greed and fear caused by ignorance. If schools taught people about money, there would be more money and lower prices. But schools only focus on teaching people how to work for money, not how to harness money's power. For the World War II generation, it was considered bad to skip from company to company. Today, it is considered smart. It enables you to learn more and will pay dividends in the long runs. The main management skills needed for success are, 1. Management of cash flow, 2. Management of systems, and 3. Management of people. And the most important specialized skills are sales and marketing. Communication skills such as writing, speaking, and negotiating are crucial to a life of success. The difference between a gambler and an investor is simple. For a gambler, investing is a game of chance. For an investor, investing is a game of skill. In the E and S quadrants, discrimination does exist, especially in companies. Your looks, your education, your skin color, and your gender all count on the left side. The problem was that the rich man was not rich yet, and the poor man was not yet poor. The pain of losing money is far greater than the joy of being rich. Intelligence is the ability to take information and make it meaningful. The cone of learning Edgar Dale gets credit for helping us to understand that we learn best through action doing the real thing or a simulation. Sometimes it's called experiential learning. Dale and his cone of learning tell us that reading and lecture are the least effective ways to learn. And yet we all know how most schools teach reading and lecture. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times there's a saying that goes, it's not what happens in one's life that matters, but it's the meaning one puts on what happens that matters. True learning takes energy, passion, a burning desire. Anger is a big part of that formula, for passion is anger and love combined. When it comes to money, most people want to play it safe and feel secure so passion does not direct them. Fear does. It's easier to learn to work for money, especially if fear is your primary emotion when the subject of money is discussed. Without this financial knowledge, which I call financial intelligence or financial IQ, my road to financial independence would have been much more difficult. Personal self-discipline is the number one delineating factor between the rich, the poor, and the middle class. Real estate is a powerful investment tool for anyone seeking financial independence or freedom. It is a unique investment tool. 
Yet every time I mention real estate as a vehicle, I often hear, I don't want to fix toilets. That's what Peter Lynch calls noise. That's what my rich dad would say is the cynic talking, someone who criticizes and does not analyze, someone who lets their doubts and fears close their mind instead of open their eyes.